this week's top stories. Plant Marina divides opinions. Another top position in a poll for some week. Roads claim one more victim. Luxury for picker parties. Three reasons why Samu survives crisis. Samu links serves locals. With shores and out of five possible locations, it's recommending as the best option a location near Big Buddha. We were at the meeting and spoke to local business owner and one of the mayors is disappointing people to hear what is going on. There are many pressure boat users here already on Samui that have nowhere to keep their boats securely. There are many more villa owners that want to bring boats here but again can't keep them securely. There's people like Sunsail who, who come here for short terms. Uh, if they had a decent facility they may come for three to six months more bringing in a different type of tourist. Uh, you look at Phuket, they have six, seven marinas already and we have nothing here at the moment. What, what is good on this particular location? I think it's close to the majority of hotels, uh, the majority of the villas and population at this current time. Uh, it's close to the airport. You get someone like Sunsail, for example, putting someone on a boat for two weeks, they can just take them ten minutes from the airport straight to the marina and onto the boat that way. Uh, from, uh, from a weather perspective, this particular area very seldom gets high uh, high seas or any big tides or anything coming in there. It's, it's very protected. Uh, if you if you had a vote today, would there be more more people uh, speaking against the marina, or would there be more people speaking uh, for it? Yeah, they more support. They more support. They they will be happy, you know, to have to have it. You know? But still, even a, 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 a smaller majority, you know, we still have to hear from them. We still have to concern, you know, what they worry. It's not for most of the local people that what we worry, and uh, we don't know who wanna run this and uh, what's gonna happen. But uh, we quite agree, you know. If this thing gonna happen, if it happened to Samui, it will be more positive. But still, we worry, you know. Thailand is voted fourth most popular destination by Condé Nast Traveler magazine, with Phuket ranked among world's top 20 island destination. The Tourism Authority of Thailand announced that Thailand as a destination is comfortably voted fourth in the overall ranking for 2008 achieving a score of 91.39 out of 100. Thailand is ranked only after New Zealand, India and Italy. In the island category, the island of Samui comes fifth, while Phuket Island ranks on the 13th place. Evidently, Thailand is the only country in this category to have two locations rated in top 15. The country achieves a heartfelt score of 97.68 for the people slash hospitality category, again reaffirming the warm and welcome. Just two weeks ago we warned that Bonsai Kai, also known as Coast Road, is turning back to Sand Road after its renovation was completed in June. Last week, Tuesday night, midnight, young Thai girl in her 20s slipped in one of the soft sand traps in a crossing of another road. She was taken by surprise when she threw her scooter into the loose sand, lost control of her bike and fell. She died on the spot of head injury before ambulance had reached the place. Sand was washed into the road just a few days prior during heavy rain. Even concrete crossing roads don't stop sand from washing into the main roads like in this case. Extra caution is necessary when you move with scooters during the rainy season. The accident could have been prevented if the road cleaning department would have acted sooner. 
cleaning road after the accident is a light comfort for the family of the deceased Thai girl. Traditionally luxury holidays to far tropical islands have been the preserve for couples and honeymooners. Karma Resorts, a new wave of luxury all villa properties in Bali and Thailand aims to change this and now offers an exclusive family and friends package for groups of six or more traveling together. Offering accommodation in elegantly appointed villas of up to four bedrooms with secluded gardens and private pools, Karma Kandara in Bali and Karma Samui on Koh Samui present an ideal solution for larger families and groups of friends. Having lived and learned from 1997 crisis, Southeast Asia's property markets have so far proved resilient to the U.S. supreme crisis and knock-on financial meltdown, but they are far from immune to the global mess. No one can get off scot-free from what's happening because global liquidity has been reduced and also the feel-good factor has gone, said David Simister, chairman of the real estate company C.P. Richard Ellis, Thailand. It will certainly create a slowdown and a market where for the next 18 months it's bad time to be selling something, but I don't see a situation where there will be a big slide in prices, he added. Ironically, several negative factors have well positioned Southeast Asian property markets for the current downturn. Firstly, 97 Asian crisis forced regional banks to tighten up their lending practices for the property sector. Secondly, with the exception of Vietnam, most Southeast Asian countries have not experienced the same real estate boom witnessed in Asia's rising giants China and India. These two factors mean Southeast Asian banks are in relatively good shape. And thirdly, many Southeast Asian countries, including Thailand and Samui, as one of the top spots, are still offering competitive prices and even possible returns on investment. There is plenty of Samui-related websites. However, most of them are aimed at tourist visitors around the globe. Like Samui News, SamuiLink.com website is committed to serving local expat population. Visually well designed pages offer a wide variety of information starting from local news to Thailand news, coverage and all important island numbers. There is a list of free services where you can place your ads, including job search or jobs wanted and classifieds that stretch to all sectors of business. It has most impressive list of local, small, medium and big businesses advertising on its pages. With support from over 350 companies and 500,000 monthly page hits, Samuel Link is able to provide most extensive local business portal with plenty of interesting links and the one web address. Latest addition to its pages is the possibility to view all Samuel News broadcasts. By moving your cursor on the bottom of the page, episodes appear to the player. Samuel Link is promising to create the site and bring new unseen features to it. Well worth the bookmark. Marinas have been built around the globe with success. The questions with this project seem to be more like when and where rather than if. Naturally there are people who are against the process and progress like this, but in order to keep on its improving luxury development path, this is one of the inevitable steps that someone will have to take sooner than later. Check out all the news and specials we have brought to you so far simply by clicking videos on youtube.com slash news. We search and try to serve.